hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to do Gemini for August 2020 15 to 31st what's gonna happen Gemini so let's see Sun Moon Rising Venus watch the Sun first and the rest and this is according to the Western astrology all right and for personal readings you can contact me on whatsapp or Instagram me also join me on Instagram if you want to uh, stick around for more updates all right and short readings Gemini someone is in love with you madly Scorpio Pisces cancer my god they want to marry you okay so this has been consistent in your readings from the past and I feel that someone wants to marry you like they're waiting for you to say yes and respond to them okay very clear answer they want to come back with an offer or they want to come towards you with a marriage offer they want to communicate it to you their feelings and Gemini this strong energy of love over here so this person is madly in love with you okay so my god Gemini you must be doing something great in life like you might be some of you could be very very intuitive or you could be emotionally very very stable doing really good emotionally fulfilled rising you know accomplishing new things you might be having new talents and you're focusing on that maybe a new business most probably a fashion business or a beauty business you might be getting indulged into gemini and they are like smitten by you and your beauty and they're like they're head over heels on you okay my god you can see what else do you want me to tell you okay what else should i tell you gemini scorpio pisces cancer this person could be any other sign basically aquarius gemini libra Virgo, taurus capricorn but strongly scorpio pisces cancer this person is lots of passion for you this person is not going to leave you okay no matter what you do where you go how much you try to shoo them away they're going to come back to you so this is how much they love for you three aces around you so they want to stabilize the bond with you they want to marry you and there's nothing else left to doubt okay so they basically want to marry you okay and have a stable connection they want to give you rather than take from you this time Whoever this person is, they want to give towards you. They want to be giving towards you, okay? So they want to offer you. They want to give you gifts. They want to give you emotions. They want to give you, they want to spend time with you. They have passion for you. I feel lots of emotional energy over here. They see children with you in future. So they want a lot. Like, you know, not like actually they want to marry you. Yes. So this person is not going to leave you. Gemini, you might be a bit rude with this person. You might have been like a bit aggressive towards them. I don't know for what reasons. You might have different reasons, Gemini. But I feel that you might not be maybe trusting this person. Or you might just jump into fights with them very quickly because they are not able to understand you in some things. So <coughs> to try to control that, okay? Try to control that with a normal communication, okay? So try to just... Uh, with them and try to communicate rather than you know falling over them you know heavily like aggressively so yeah the situation can be sorted with communication so they're coming they're bringing that offer to you very very soon and i've been i feel that this person has been very consistent from the past so they've been consistently you know uh following you and they want to marry you they see you as their husband material wife material marriage material so they have a lot of passion towards they want to work it out on you with you okay they want to work every everything necessary to work to make this relationship work okay so this time they want to you know make all the efforts it requires to have you in their life and happily that too happily so that you can be happy with them this person could be strongly from the past so it's a reconciliation thing happening so this person is your soulmate definitely and uh, there's a strong reconciliation guys so someone from the past Scorpio Pisces Cancer is ready to marry you now so Gemini you're getting married okay so very fast very soon 
they have a crush on you. Some of you might have met this person online or it just simply means that this person could be a younger person and they have huge crush on you, all right? And they cannot stop crushing on you. I see it's energy as well. I also feel that uh, they always bring that fresh energy towards you on the table every time when they approach you. So I feel like uh, either it's this person who is uh, having lots of crush on you or there can be someone else also around the corner who could be a younger person or a Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo person who's crushing over you like anything. Okay, these are the initial stages of crush. Someone some other person is also having crush on you okay despite one stable connection now that you have other options who are wanting to be with you like on an initial basis like they want to have a relationship with you so you have options as well yeah someone is in love with you so there's this some other person also involved maybe another gemini or a cancer pisces very sash leo this person is also going crazy over you but they're not thinking about marriage they might be thinking about relationship with you okay yeah so this person could be a younger energy okay and they might be rich as well financially well off so i feel like there are two people around or there are more than two people around who are interested in dating you but i feel that your wish fulfillment for so many so many people wish to be with you but I feel that there is someone from the past who heavily, heavily, heavily wants to marry you and is not letting you go no matter what. But there are some other people also interested in you, okay, with whom you might have financial discussion, stuff like that. Or they might be into entrepreneurship, financial stuff. They might be interested in knowing more about you. So, yeah, you have not just one soul, soulmate around you, but the person who wants to marry you literally want to give in to you everything is someone you're already dealing with someone from the past gemini you're tired of all you need to be left alone you you're actually doing your own thing and you're enjoying your time so you need to be left alone you want to focus on yourself because you're tired of too much attention that you're getting you're overwhelmed by attention you know what so that is why you've decided not to communicate for uh, some time with these people, okay? So you want to have some me time right now. You want to, you know, you know, you want to focus on yourself and your growth and your business on your or your job, okay? Gemini, please. Very nice cards. Nothing is yet said. Is so what I see that message is that the it depends upon, totally depends upon you, how you take the situation. Because it's not really clear if you're going to get married to this person or that person. It totally depends upon how much you give into this relationship or how much you take, whoever you take seriously and how much you put in towards this relationship. If you want this thing to get into fruition you have to put equal efforts because if not then it will not happen okay the marriage thing won't happen so you have to take this thing seriously and with the person who you want to get married to gemini so become serious and focus on this marriage thing okay because it might not set in stone later on because right now there is a lot of passion around you people around you or there could be just one person Whoever it is, if you have more than one people stalking you, wanting to be with you, they have passion for you and they trust you, okay? They're a trustworthy person. You need not worry about the situation. I feel you need to stay positive. So stay positive about your emotional life, your relationship, your marriage thing, okay? So maybe you have, some of you might have trust issues as well. So don't worry about this, okay? Everybody has a good quality as well as a bad quality so you have to embrace everything since you embrace yourself you embrace your bad and good side so embrace the other person's bad and good until it's not too bad so yeah learn to trust others and be optimistic be positive 
Yeah, this is what the cards are trying to tell you. So you need to be focused. You need to be firm. You need to take a firm decision in order to make this happen. If you want marriage to happen, you need to stay firm. If you want this person to stay, you need to take action. So stay positive, okay? So these are the messages that I get. Now, last and not the least, let's check out what are the signs that you might be dealing with and you might approach. You might be approached. Signs that will approach... Gemini, please. Some rising Venus. Pisces. They might have Pisces and Leo in their charts. Okay. Strongly. So joy is coming towards you. Aries. Some of you might be dealing with Aries. I see Pisces energy around you. Someone born on 24 or might be 24 at age. Okay. Capricorn energy around you, whoa, Taurus, someone who's money-minded, okay, this person's around you, in a good way, not, not in a bad way, Cancer, so you might be dealing with these signs most probably, or they are in this energy right now, okay, so look out for that, so enjoy the rest of the month, we will see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit the bell icon, and share this video, bye-bye.